So when in our kind of term of co-location, we'd be looking at when you're co-locating a battery asset behind the same grid connection as say a soda farm. And so there's only one export connection there. Mm -hmm. And when your soda farm is generating and exporting to the grid, your battery then can't export on top of it. So here we're talking about kind of the battery export headroom, the ability that the battery has to fully discharge. It yeah. has to kind of do battle, if you will, with the solar uh, that's also being generated when it shares that export uh, and pushes that power out to the grid. Exactly. Like ultimately, both assets can't export at full power at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and what we usually see is that as the more flexible asset, the battery ends up kind of shifting its use around the solar farm. Yeah, and particularly, I guess, if the solar farm has got um, a subsidy associated with its generation. Yeah. So if we think of a solar farm which has got, say, uh, a solar farm which is the same size as the battery which is co-located, that's quite a common kind of setup. So you'd have, say, a 50 megawatt uh, export connection, 50 megawatt solar farm, and a 50 megawatt battery. Mm -hmm. Then what we've done is a bit modeling to look at the impact on the revenues which we might expect from uh, sort of the battery asset. Yeah. And so when you just look at it across the year, you'd end up with about 85 to maybe 90% availability to export uh, from the battery asset. Mm -hmm. However, really when we're looking at wholesale trading, we're only interested in um, the kind of maximum one hour or two hours in each day when you'd actually be discharging the asset. And so when we look at that, then it turns out the battery uh, is a lot more available than that 85% figure. In fact, we might jump up to like 95%. Okay, so when we look at the wholesale traded revenues in this kind of scenario where you can't essentially export when the solar is exporting at full power, those are not the time periods where wholesale revenues are typically captured. Exactly. Because you'd be charging up overnight when obviously there's no solar and you'll be charging up rather than exporting. But crucially, when you're exporting during the peak periods, that's not generally when... Um, solar is exporting at full power so actually your revenues aren't impacted as much as you might expect given the solar load factor over the year.